Hi there YouTube, welcome back to another episode of Auntie A's Kitchen, simple and delicious food cooked in South Korea. I've just come back from a cycle ride and I am very hungry, I am ravenous. So let's make a quick lunch and today I'm going to make homemade coleslaw with cheese and ham, onion, mustard, toasted sandwich. It is delightful. Uh, you can make any combination that you like. Uh, you could go for a pizza flavor, you could go for a Mexican flavor. Use what ingredients you have. So thanks for watching. I hope you're enjoying all the episodes. Let's look at the ingredients. for the coleslaw. I'm going to be using broccoli, some red onions, some red cabbage and a carrot. And I really like the colours in this. If your children don't eat broccoli, this is a really good way of disguising it and getting vegetables into them. For the sauce that I'm going to be putting on top, you can make any combination. Today I'm going to be doing apple vinegar. I'm going to be putting some mayonnaise, some whole grain mustard, some, a bit of lemon juice, some salt and pepper, and that will make my sauce for the coleslaw. Then for the cheese, ham and onion toasty, some bread. I like quite thin bread, as you see from the toasting machine that I'm going to be using. Thin bread is needed. Some butter, so that we put it on the outside. Some cheese, some ham, and some Dijon mustard. And I'll also be putting some onion in, but I'll use whatever's left over from the coleslaw. So first of all, let's do the carrot. turn it off when you open it up. Once you've cut up your ingredients, mix it up. Make sure that you've got all the colour and the quantity of everything that you want. That looks about okay. Now I'm going to mix my sauce. Now I know what you're going to say. You're going to say, Amanda, how much of everything? And I'm going to be totally honest with you. I just eyeball it and taste it. And that way it makes it interesting that I have some different flavours every time. So first of all, generous squeeze of the mayonnaise. Next, I'm going to do a little bit of my honey grey mustard. I'm going to use just a little bit of lemon. Now, if you have fresh lemon, use your fresh lemon. Now, a lot of people will use white vinegar, but I like the apple vinegar because of the flavour. Just a little bit of that. You can always add more. And then I mix this together. Add my salt and my pepper. I like food that is seasoned. And here comes the fun bit. Taste it. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. So now I'm going to add this. And the quick secret to getting all the sauce out is throw in some of your salad into the bowl and just let that pick up everything around the edge. And then put that back inside. In here you could add walnuts, cranberries, raisins, apple. I'll show you some other flavours and styles as we move into the summer. Toasted sandwich. Now in Korea you can get a lot of paninis and I love paninis. I love the crispy bread and I think every country has their own kind of sandwiches. You can get a croque monsieur in France. You can get a grilled cheese sandwich in America. But for us in England, a toasted cheese sandwich. We also, one of our favorites is cheese on toast and I'll show you that in another video. But for today, we're going to do toasted sandwiches. One of my favorites. It's really quick to do, very simple. So get your bread. You're going to need to butter your bread. Now, ideally this butter should be room temperature so that it's easy to spread which mine isn't, but that's okay. This basically just helps it crisp up. Now, the important thing with a sandwich maker is that you turn it on about five to six minutes before you use it so that it can get hot inside. If you don't want to use butter like I am at the moment, you could spray it with some oil, um, whatever you have. Okay, next we turn the bread, we flip the bread. And now we can put in here any flavor combination that we would like. First of all, I'm going to do some mustard. Love 
mustard inside, the combination with the ham and the cheese and the onions. Next I'm going to do some cheese. Oh, it's making my mouth water already. Some cheese, nice amount of cheese because we want it all bubbly. Now what goes really well with the cheese is your onions. So let's put those of onions inside. And then some ham on top because we want the onions to melt into the cheese. So there we go. It's made up. You don't want to do it too big um, because otherwise it's not going to fit inside my sandwich maker. And then is all I do is put it in and hear the sizzle there and then shut the door. And we're going to let that now cook for about two to five minutes and I'll check on it every so often. Our cheese sandwich. So here we have another quick lunch, ham, cheese and onion toasty with homemade coleslaw. And as you saw there, it was made in minutes. And um, if I was honest, I would probably use a different bread. Uh, white bread would bind and stick a little bit better, but I like the brown bread. And so that's what I've gone with. Today I've chosen cheese, ham, onion and mustard. So without further ado, let's try some of this sandwich. It's coming out, as you can see, it's just gooey. Mmm. Mmm. Delicious. What I like about the coleslaw is it now keeps in my fridge and it's great to have with the sandwich. Mmm. Mm. It's flavoursome, it's crunchy, just delicious. You can see from today's lunch, it is quick and simple. So then, ham, cheese, onion with mustard toasted sandwich, um, kind of like a panini but just in a different style, and homemade coleslaw. Absolutely delicious, perfect for a cold winter's day and one happy British girl. So thank you for watching. I look forward to seeing you in another episode. God bless.